Yo, Ken, do you have a problem that needs solving? Actually, I do. Mr. Baker wants to do everything for himself. I feel about as useless as a mom's college degree. Sounds like a job for the problem solvers. We'll talk to Danny for you. Danny, around here, we're known as the problem solvers. Always have been, always will be. And we think you could use a little guidance. Yes, please. I don't even know where the bathrooms are around here. It's not about the room, Danny. It's about the man. Any room you see around here with a door, you make it your bathroom. You're an actor now. You're special. And taking advantage of Kenneth is part of it. It's what he's here for. Look, I'm just trying to keep my head down and suppress my Canadian accent. I'm not about to... About... Boire out. All I'm saying is that I don't want to rub anyone the wrong way, even Kenneth. Oh, don't worry. Kenneth loves being our slave. <laughs> he may say that, but trust me, it's not true. I was an assistant once. And when you're in that position, you grow resentful and bitter. So what if Kenneth's bitter? He's an underhuman. Look, something weird is going on. You mean this budget stuff? Don't worry about it, Tracy. It's just going to affect the non-specials. No, it's not that. Jenna, you're the smartest person I know. You think Kenneth could be a murderer? What? Why would you think that? Well, I might be crazy, but neither he nor his bird would let me into his bedroom. And why wouldn't you want to let Tracy Jordan into your bedroom unless you got a bunch of dead nurses in there? Well, I had to study serial killers to prepare for my role as criminal profiler Jill St. Ferrari in the Lifetime original miniseries Hushed Rapings. And all mass murderers share three characteristics. Cruelty to animals. They grew up killing pigs. Bedwetting. No wonder he's fascinated when I do that. And an inability to read human facial cues. I admonished him for that earlier. Three for three. He's a monster. OK, we've got to go tell Jack. You know, if Kenneth is actually a killer, we're going to be heroes. <gasps> oh. AK, where's Jonathan? Jonathan's not here anymore. How may I help you? Um, we need to see Jack. I don't know if I can allow that. I've made some mistakes lately. Terrible mistakes. Uh-huh. So, I need to know what this is about. I can't have you getting me into trouble. It's not about you. Yeah, it's about someone else. I'm afraid this guy I know in Canada might be a serial killer. And what is his name? Kenneth. I mean, I tell you his name. It's Kenneth. Excellent. I will be sure to let him know as soon as he's done firing Stephen Lee from microwaves. What? Oh, Mr. Lee, I forgot. He's ready for you now. I've got chills. He's evil. If I had any doubts about this before, and I don't think I did, they're going now. We gotta go to his apartment and save who we can. We're definitely gonna be heroes. Yeah, like Julia and Denzel in the Pelican Brief. Oh my God, why does he have a rolled up towel against the bottom of the door? It's so creepy. Jenna, I just want you to know that if we find any human remains in there, I'm gonna throw up all over your face. Oh no! Get him some murderer and a riddler is coming! No, it's a bug bomb. Get out, get out, it's poisonous! <laughs> Look, I know that you're mad about Jack's decision to bring in another actor, and you want to punish me. Punish you? Please, Liz. I've just always wanted to shoot a student werewolf movie in Iceland, where I'm filling in last minute for Victoria Beckham. We could sit down and talk about this like adults. Liz Lemon, you booger face! I'm gonna kill you with a bazooka! Ow! I fought my wife that dumb book of yours, and the more Angie reads it, the matter she gets at me. Well, maybe that's on you, Trey. No, it's off me. A book hasn't caused me this much trouble since Where's Waldo went to that barber pole factory. It's on you, Liz Lemon, and you will be punished. Congratulations, Liz Lemon. Now Angie wants a break. So instead of going to a hotel or my houseboat, which I cannot find, I'm staying with the woman that started this problem in the first place. What? No, Tracy, that is not fair. Oh, yeah. There's a garbage bag in the hallway with a reef shark in it. Just put him in the tub with a reef. What's for dinner tonight? I want pierogies.
Tracy and Liz's residence. Tracy speaking. Tracy, it's Jenna. Is Liz there? It's Jenna from work. Jenna, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? Night Stalkers has encountered some production speed bumps that are complicating my schedule. Well, I need you back by Friday. What kind of speed bumps? Well, Iceland appears to have a different sun than America, because this one is not setting. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's so far north. And you probably don't know this because you've never played a moonologist, but werewolves only come out at night. Yes, I remember that from the thriller video. Too soon. Did it, what is your plan, Jenna? Well, evidently, as it gets later in the year, the sun will start to set. I'm told tomorrow night we make it as much as a minute of darkness. Really? So you're going to shoot this movie one minute at a time just to punish me? Liz, I don't even know what you're talking about. What new cast member? Bye. No, you... <sighs> What's wrong, Rumi? Well, two of my co-workers are driving me insane, so I'm going to kill them in their sleep tonight. <laughs> 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 Everyone settle and action. It's not just about the new cast member. When you always put the show ahead of me, it makes me feel like we're growing apart. Jenna, you're my friend, no matter what. I will always look after you. That's not going to change. Oh, Liz, thank you for giving me the hotter porn lady. Okay, we should get out of here. Yeah, we should. Hey, before we go on, do you want to pray together? Oh, oh Michael great Jackson's Kabbalah ghost. Monster. NBC is showing the promo I worked on for the parade. I'm famous. And now back to NBC's live coverage of the 2012 St. Patrick's Day Parade with hosts Jenna Maroney and Tracy Jordan. Oh my God, they said my name first. But I'm more famous than you. Oh, this is probably some Hollywood prank. Like on the set of Ocean's 12 when I put that snake in George Clooney's bed, I was not in the movie. Or maybe now that Kids is a giant hit, I'm the one America wants to see. You better not be talking about my dear friend America Ferrera. Get your stuff out of here, because I get the bigger dressing room now. I'll replace your lizard with a gay guy in a giant champagne bottle. Siri, kill Jenna! Whoa, 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 what's going on? I get second billing to the small booby grandma. No, you guys are friends, remember? My baloney. The only baloney Tracy has is the baloney he's full of. Why would you say that? You can't take that back! God, live TV is such a rush. It's like sex, but your husband isn't looking at a picture of a bridge. Peter, can you explain this to me? Well, obviously, I'm host number one. We all saw the promo. Hazel, the script had Tracy and Jenna's names in it. Did you change that? Duh. After you PMSed about their names yesterday, I thought numbers would make everyone happy. We're on in five, four, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to the 2012, 2012 St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day Parade, Parade on NBC. They're both reading host number one. Would a third host help? I am SAG eligible, but I will only do nude stuff if there's a mirror behind me. Forget the parade, Hazel. For six years, we've been tricking them into thinking they're friends. And you've undone all that in a day. I understand you, you have, have some, some interesting, interesting trivia, trivia about, about this year's, year's parade. parade. No way, that's amazing. J Train, as you may know, I was in a film called Hard to Watch, and the pundits think I have a chance at an Oscar, and I just learned about air quotes. Yes, I talked about your movie with my therapist last week for 20 hours. I know this is difficult for you. I'm fine. Talking with Dr. Linda helped me realize I have just as much going on in my life. My exercise video is dropping soon. It's called Jenna Gets Hard. Well, if you're okay talking about it, I need your help. These reporters want to come do a story on me. They're from something called the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Huffpa? Yeah. That's the Golden Globes, the second most important awards in Hollywood after the People's Choice Awards, where the fans are in charge. So what do you think I should do? You could have a special screening for them, host a luncheon, and when the time is right... Be bad at snapping. Got it. No, Tracy. You could try to bribe them. I mean, a Golden Globe is a stepping stone to an Oscar. 
How bad do you want it? I'm not an expert at morality, but isn't that wrong? You're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> I got them right where I want them. Time to do a little Golden Globe shopping. No, Tracy, that movie gave me drunk in the bathtub face. We need to talk. Sabotage? But I'm the one who does that to me. I know, Tracy. It was wrong, but I couldn't go through with it because I saw your movie. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're great. Wait, great like good? Oh, great like the thing I dropped my asthma inhaler down the other day. The first one, Trey. You are going to win. And when you do, I'll be furious. Like waking up next to Rob Schneider furious. But I don't care. It's like you said in the movie. Sometimes you gotta do the right thing, even when the wrong thing would be a whole lot easier. <laughs>